Have you ever said something to a plumber or any other residential service provider? And as soon as you said it, they got a look on their face, you know, like, <laughs> and it kind of made you wonder why they were looking at you that way. Well, what I'm going to talk about in this video is I've got a few things that customers say to us quite often. Sometimes it's on the phone. Sometimes it's as a plumber, when you get out on the job, you're there to work. And then they say certain things. And it kind of makes you wonder, well, then why didn't you just do the job? Don't get me wrong. Plumbers want your work. I mean, we are in business to make money and show up and take care of your plumbing problems. But sometimes when you walk out or even just when you answer the phone, you get a question and it lets you realize these people probably really don't want to hire a plumber. They would rather do it themselves, which is fine. I teach people how to fix their own plumbing or they just want a handyman, somebody that'll do it really cheap. They don't care if it's done right. They just don't want to see the drip. They don't want to hear the noise. They don't want whatever it is. They don't really care if it's fixed right or wrong. They're just tired of dealing with whatever the problem is. Not only am I going to tell you the things that were asked or told or, or questioned, I'm going to tell you the thought that goes through our minds. Any trades professional, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. Y'all ready for that? Cause here we go. Number one, we love when we get the call that says, Hey, look, I've got a problem and this should only take you about five minutes. I could really do it myself, but I would rather have a plumber do it. Now, if it's only going to take five minutes, you probably should do it yourself because to be honest and look, I don't, and I don't mean that bad, but if you think it's going to take me five minutes, it should probably take you 10 or 15 and that's going to be worth saving you money. Now, we actually get this call all the time. It's, Hey, look, this is a really easy job. I know it is. Well, I don't know what you do for a living, but I would never look at you and say, look, I'm sure this won't take you very long to do because I have no idea what it takes to do it right. And a lot of times when we get this call, it's, well, look, you're going to have to shut down the water and you're going to have to do this. And then you're gonna have to change this. And then you're gonna have to change this. But really this, this should just be about five minutes. I don't know very many jobs that only take five minutes. Now, are there some? Probably so. Does it normally take just five minutes? Never. The reason being, we still have to dispatch that plumber. We still have to get all that information. It takes us five minutes on the phone just to get the information from you. I know that you think, look, I don't want you to charge me a lot. So I'm just going to tell you it's this little bitty project. Then when you get here, it's gonna be like, oh my gosh. But the funny thing is, we know when we get that call, it's either somebody that really doesn't want to hire a plumber or they're just wanting the cheapest price. And to be honest, either way, you're probably not the right person for us or any other residential service provider. So think about it before you call. You don't know what all it's going to take to do what it actually takes to fix your job properly. And if you call a professional, hopefully they're going to do it properly. And sometimes that takes a little bit longer than you think. So don't just assume in your mind that it's only a five minute job. Number two, you get the call says, Hey, look, I've already bought the parts on Amazon. I just need y'all to come put them in. So it shouldn't take very long at all. Well, number one, if you bought the parts on Amazon, how do we know you bought the right parts? I mean, did you look up model numbers, serial number? Do you have the exact replacement parts? Did you talk to the manufacturer or did you just find, you know, this is a knockoff version that they say works even better because I'm telling you they're out there. Now we get those all the time that says, Hey, look, I got this new lavatory faucet. I want y'all to come install and you get over there and they bought it from China. The directions are in Chinese and it does not look like anything any plumber has ever installed in the United States but you still want it done. And Hey, wait, I talked to another plumber and Oh wait, that's a whole nother story. But anyway, you want it done. You bought the parts and you think, look, I've already bought the parts that don't fit, don't match up, don't line up and don't make sense, but it should still be done cheaper than if you'd have just bought a great American made product and come installed it yourself. Guys, if you're going to buy the parts, man, chances are, you know what you're doing. Just go ahead and do it or at least try. Number three, and this is a really good one. Can you just give me the price over the phone? Well, here's the deal. The answer to be honest is no. And here's why. Number one, there are so many details that go into a price. You know, where is it located? How hard is it going to be to shut the water off? Can we shut the water off? Do we have to shut the water off to the whole house? Is this a good valve? Are the connections really messed up? Are they common connections? Can we even use that valve or is the connector that's already attached to it going to break when we take it apart? Because we know that. So it's really impossible to give you a price on a phone, but people say, well, can't you ballpark it? If I say, yeah, it's between 
$100 and 150 the only words you hear are $100. Because then when I come out, you're just like, whoa, 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 you told me on the phone it was $100. No, I said it was between $100 and $150. Yeah, but I could tell by looking at it, this was a $100 job. No, 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 it was not. Here's the deal. I can't call my doctor and say, hey, I got a stomach ache. How much is it to make it go away? You know why? It could be a lot of different things. Same thing with your plumbing system. Your plumbing system is actually more detailed than most people think. And they literally just say, hey, look, this isn't gonna take you any time at all, but just give me a price. How much is it gonna be? You know, to be honest, the price is gonna be anywhere from $100 to 100,000. And I know that scares you away, but you know what? If you've got water coming up out of your floor, it could be that much. Now, hopefully it's not. But the thing is, you want to get a licensed, trained professional out there that's going to look at it right, give you the best options to fix the problem right, but also the best way to go through and diagnose it is to get out there and look at it, get eyes on it, and get hands on it. Can I give you a price for that over the phone? We might be able to tell you what it cost us to come out and do that first step, but we can't tell you what it's going to cost to fix it before we ever get out there. And any residential service company that tells you they can guarantee all those things and give you a price over the phone probably isn't being honest with you anyway. Number four, I love this one. I got a plumber that says he'll do it for half the price. Then why'd you call me? Okay. Why are you bothering me if you've already got somebody that'll do it? Look, I don't mean that bad. I mean, if you're just wanting a price, hey, I got a plumber that says he can do it for this much. Let him do it. But I'm telling you, it ain't going to be done right for that much. You know, I used to pass a laundry on the way to work every day to school when I was in high school. And I still remember the sign that was on the side of their building. They changed it on a regular basis, but for some reason, this one always stuck with me. Yes, my competition may be lower, only they understand the true value of the service they provide. Look, if we're going to come out and do things right, you can't compare us to handymen. You can't compare us to Chuck and a Truck, the one-man plumbing company that's going to come in and do most of the stuff right. If we come out and do things right, we're bonded, we're licensed, we have insurance, we do things right. We pull permits, we get inspections, we don't shortcut the system, and we don't cheat things. Guys, if you're going to compare us to people that aren't playing on the same field that we are, there's no comparison. You can't compare apples to watermelons. They're two different things. It does not add up. So don't tell me about the plumber that you've got that'll do it cheaper. Call him and let him do it. Because if you're calling me, that already tells me there's a reason you don't want him to do the work. Number five, and this is perfect that it's number five. If this only took you five minutes, why did you charge me so much? And I love that because I'll get people that call me and say, hey, your plumber was only here 10 minutes. And it's this much and I'm not real happy about it. Well, I'm tracking his vehicle and he went by the supply house to pick up the parts for your job. He was at your job for 53 minutes. It may have only taken him five minutes once he turned off the water, got everything drained down, got everything protected, pulled it out, replaced it, cleaned up everything, got the water turned back on, tested everything and did everything. You may have seen the five minutes that it took him to actually change out a part, but what did it take him to have to go through to get everything done and done properly? Most jobs, most plumbing jobs, probably take a plumbing company anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half minimum. That's by the time they get there, by the time they do it, and by the time they clean it up and guarantee it. And I said, guarantee it. So yes, if you have a problem, we're coming back for free to fix it again. Or you did something wrong and you think it's our fault, so you call us to come back to that again. And look, I have nothing wrong with that because we guarantee our work. But when we come back and don't charge you for that, you're gonna remember, well, you know what? You're only out here the first time five minutes and you charge me all this money, so here's the problem. Guys, there's not many jobs that can be done in five minutes. If there are, Go back to number one. If it only takes five minutes, do it yourself. You should be able to get it done in 10 to 15. Number six, do you mind if I stand here and watch? And this is really funny because I know you'll get that look from a lot of people. Here's the thing, I really don't mind. The reason being, I'm gonna go through all my steps and processes and procedures and make sure I do it the way it's supposed to be done. But do me a favor, don't get in my way. Don't bend right over my shoulder. Don't stand there and just breathe down my neck. That's just going to slow me down. But if you want to watch me, I have no problem with that. You want to ask me why I'm doing things? I have no problem with that. Does that frustrate a lot of people? Absolutely. 
People think that you wanna watch us because we think we're cheating you or doing something wrong, and we're not. Most of us really wanna get in, get the job done right, and make you happy. That's how we've built a reputation doing this. Some people though, they literally wanna stand there and watch you take every step, everything you do. Me, you know what, if that's what you wanna do, that's fine. To be honest, I can probably get it done quicker without you standing on my shoulder or in my way if I'm having to go in and out. But if you wanna stand there and watch me, Look, I'm fine with it. Other plumbers, other residential tradespeople, maybe not so much. Number seven, don't call a plumber or any other residential tradesperson and ask them to fix something and then tell them, no, 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 I've already done that. If you've already done it and you've already done it right, there shouldn't be a problem here. But we need to go through those same steps and processes. The reason being, you may have done something wrong or you may have used the wrong part. But also when we open it up, like whenever I pull a cartridge out, I reach inside to feel what does the brass feel like? What do things feel like on the inside? Is it clean? Is there something else in here that could be causing a problem that maybe you didn't know about or you weren't aware of? People hire handymen to come in and fix their plumbing all the time, but most handymen aren't trained on the right way to do some things. And look, I don't have anything against handymen, so handymen quit hating on me. I love handymen doing handyman work. But if you're doing a job that requires a license or a permit or an inspection or anything like that, all I ask is that you do the exact same thing we do. Do it right and get it inspected. Two other questions, number eight and number nine, and they kind of go together. Number eight is, can I get a discount? And there are times that we can do a discount if you do multiple things, meaning, look, we have a straightforward pricing guide. We know what it takes to get a guy out there, do the job, get it done and leave. And we're pretty good at sticking with that. The thing is, when you say, can I get a discount? What do you do for a living? I can't drive through Burger King, get to the window and get ready to pay and say, hey, can I get a discount today? Chances are they're not gonna give it to me. It's so funny because one of the very first negative reviews I got was from a lady saying, look, I want a discount. I've got your bill in front of me. And if you don't give me a discount, I'm gonna give you a bad review. Well, number one, that's a piss poor person right there. But the truth of the matter is business isn't done that way. I don't get to go in, pick out everything I want to the store, get up to the register and then say, hey, I want a discount. Why? Well, that's not the way it's done. If you get multiple items, say that we're there changing a toilet and we realize the flange is broken, now we need to change the flange. We'll normally give you a multi-item discount. Look, we're already here, we're not leaving, we've got a problem right here, we're gonna fix multiple things while we're here. If we're set up like that, which a lot of companies are, we have an opportunity to where we can extend you a discount and we love doing that. We're not in the business just to get rich, we're in the business of building relations with customers that hopefully call us back and tell other people about us. And the other thing, number nine, is the service fee. People always say, well, you have a service fee, a dispatch fee, an evaluation fee, whatever you wanna call it, here's the deal. If I've gotta pay a plumber to drive from my shop to your house, spend time looking around, figuring out what the problem is, put together a price to tell you what it is, why should I be the one that has to pay for that? You want this to be evaluated by a licensed, trained professional that knows what he's doing, do you not? Because that would be a big deal to me. Some people really don't care. You know what, just tell me how much it is, tell me over the phone, I could fix it in five minutes. You know what, have fun and do it yourself. Guys, look, I love what I do for a living. Some of these questions really don't bother me at all. We get them all the time. But some of these questions, man, I understand why a lot of residential service providers get upset about it. We hear them all day, every day. When you go to your doctor, do you ask him, hey, do I get a discount on this? Yeah, you may have insurance, you may have this, you may have that, but do you literally look at him and say, hey, do I get a discount? Why? We don't get to walk in when we buy anything that we buy and ask for discounts either. Anyway, if you're a service provider and there's something that I missed here, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know what is it people say to you, ask you, tell you, or whatever that really gets under your skin. This has been fun. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you hadn't yet, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.